Yes. Happy birthday! Thank you. Happy birthday! It's my birthday today. Uh, while you're here, let's go talk to our representatives. Yeah. But before, you know, Robin's keeping a pretty tight ship. Before we move a little bit uh, too far in this program, I want you guys to take a second. Look at the person next to you, and I want you to reach out, shake their hand, and thank them for coming today because you guys are making incredible sacrifices once again. To make your voices heard. Thank you guys. Great. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to bring up a uh, guest here in just a moment. But before I do, I want to talk about a divinely inspired document, and that's the Constitution. Thank you. I believe that our Constitution was divinely inspired, and I do not believe in amending it on a whim. But I know we've all heard a lot of talk about a balanced budget amendment for years, right? I want to talk briefly about, about one that has been introduced this year. Are we all set? I want to talk about one that's been introduced this year called SJR1. This balanced budget amendment has teeth. It has the teeth that we've been looking for. Not only will it require Congress to balance the budget, it will require two-thirds in both houses to raise taxes. It will require two-thirds in both houses to increase the debt limit. And best of all, there will be a spending cap on Washington. And that spending cap is figured, currently the discussion is about 20% of GDP, which is about the 75-year average. Now I think that balanced budget amendment has teeth. To learn more about it, go to bbanow.org. That's BBA as in balanced budget amendment. bbanow.org. Sign up with your Tea Party group as a coalition partner. We're going to drive this discussion and get ready for 2012 and make it a candidate requirement for 2012. Okay. Now I want to bring out uh, State Representative Scott Flaken. Uh, Representative Plakin actually is the current chair, or the new chair, of a brand new uh, committee that was formed this year by the recommendation of Speaker Cannon. It's called the Federal Affairs Committee. Now before we flood his phone, I want you guys to know that they're looking at, with the Federal Affairs Committee, at the proper relationship between the state and federal government, and how the federal government may be, I don't know if you guys heard anything about it, infringing upon our state's rights. Yeah. State Representative Scott Flaken has a very important issue to talk with you guys today. I bring up Scott Flaken.